Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, we, I am back with my mixed media. I've been off for a week or two, maybe two weeks of doing, I've been doing mixed media. I just haven't been making mixed media videos. So anyway, what I want to do is I love creating these worlds. Um, and I'm using all, I'm using, this was a 11 by 17 piece of car, like um, poster board. I got lucky and I found a bunch of it, like a big stack of it um, at the thrift store for like a dollar. So anyway, I like to work when this is 11 by 14. I like to work on when I do these type of pieces on 11 by 14 piece of card of, um, of, um, not cardstock. Well, if it's cardstock, do a heavy piece of cardstock of a uh, poster board. Um, because I like to make prints of my work. And if I do it by 11 by 14, that's the biggest that when I go to, um, staples that they can make my prints and they can do an 11 by 14 and then they can shrink this down to like an eight by 10 or, um, eight and a half by 11. Um, so that's why I like to work this big. Plus I can get more on a page working in like around 11 by 14. Okay. So what I do to create these worlds is it's a matter of collage and acrylic paint. So I've already collaged all my collage bits. Um, for example, the sky here I got from a Dollar Tree calendar. Um, this bird here I got from, let me show you. I'm going to share a few things with you. And this is going to be a series, this whole thing. So um, I got from I, this beautiful hummingbird. I got from the Ultimate Guide to Hummingbirds. Birds and Blooms ultimate guide to hummingbirds this was not cheap usually i tell you oh i got this for a dollar no i paid like a ridiculous amount my husband made me get it because he's like you love hummingbirds you do all this type of collage work it was 10.99 so i would love to actually get more of these to apply to the um a subscription so i have to check that out anyway so that's that um all these roses down here which we're going to turn these into um basically water features like a waterfall effect i got that from the ultimate rose book which is just full you guys can see i've been i've been tearing through this forever it's full of roses you get these on ebay oh that uh magazine i just got at a grocery store you can probably get it at the some of the bookstores if they don't have it at the grocery store. This is called the Ultimate Rose American Rose Society. You get this on eBay, only like five bucks, you guys. I have like four or five of these because I was afraid that they were going to um, run out, so I bought a ton. Um, like I said, this is a Dollar Tree calendar. This is just from magazines. These are perfume bottles. This is from some magazine. I'm not sure. This is um, yarn, balls of yarn from my yarn. That I get for free. Um, a yarn magazine. I get all kinds of yarn magazines for free. And I use that because this looks to me like a mountain or like a waterfall. We'll turn that into. This is a thing of suitcases, which will be another little water feature. I do a lot of water in my things because I like it. Um, these are going to be little worlds. These perfume bottles. Okay. And I got the, the perfume bottles and the suitcases just out of a women's magazine. A fashion magazine. Fashion magazines are fabulous for things. And um, for your backgrounds like this and the sky here and the sky here, um, calendars, especially the Dollar Tree calendars, you guys. So look at those. Okay, so, and this is the kind of worlds we want to create, things like this. Then I put my girls that I like to draw. I call them Angie's Angels. So let's see if we can get in a little closer. Okay. So these are the kind of worlds I create. So I do acrylic paint over that. Okay. And then, and this was Elsa, my version of Elsa. I think she turned out really pretty. Hope you guys like her from Frozen. And then, um, and oh, I frame these. I frame these with this Dollar Tree. These are uh, prints of my work. Um, eight and a half by 11. And then I just kind of trim them down to eight by 10 and frame them. When you go to, um, I go to, I just said it, um, office max. When you go there, if you want to get prints, I would print for one, use a thing called, um, resume paper. You can get it there at office max. You get resume paper, you get like a hundred sheets for 11 bucks. So it's a really good price. And then when you go to print it, tell them you want map settings. Between map settings, it's a way that it really um, gives you a lot more color depth. And using the um, resume paper, 
you get these beautiful prints. You can see my, my prints, how pretty they are because of those two things. So if you want to make your own prints, that's the way to do it. If you want to do 11 by 14, what I do is I just get the 11 by 14, um, I get the 11 by 14 uh, printer paper because they don't have resume paper on 11 by 14. And I still use map settings. So that's another one I've done with all the magazine bits and then acrylic paint. Okay, so let's go back out. So I wanted to show you those just so you kind of know where we're going. Um, and the girl that we're going to, after we create our world, I drew this girl. And I've already started coloring her in. And this is her. She's a mermaid. And I will go over... Um, bits and pieces of how I color her in so that you'll get a nice general um because it takes a long time to color my girls in but you'll get a good general idea of different techniques I use to color her in so I will do that on camera okay what I'll end up doing with her is I will do most of her hair and then leave a little bit to do on camera I'll do most of her um mermaid tail here and I'll leave a little bit for camera and um I'll probably just color the mushroom um, and then separately, I'll take another girl, another copy of my work, which I always make tons of prints of her, and we'll do the face and the neck and the skin separately in another video, just so you can see how I did that. Okay, so this is the girl. Now, she, now she's really, really big. I'm probably not going to use her this big. I will make a copy of her and probably shrink her down to a 5x7, or not shrink her down, but copy her as a 5x7 and use the copied image 5x7 to put her into this world. Because I just think she's way too big right now to be put in this world this big. Okay, so let's get started on this, on creating this world with acrylic paints. And we're going to work kind of far out for right now. Okay, so in this sky, sometimes when I do the sky, I, I only have like this much of like the calendar to use. But this time I was able to get the whole sky. If you only have this much, you just go ahead and take acrylic paints and just match it up with your fingers like this. But I have a whole sky here that I don't have to uh, recreate anything on the sides. So... What I want to do with this sky is I want to, first thing I want to do is I want to put, um, sometimes I do planets, but this time I want to do bubbles. Yes, bubbles. So, because the worlds I create are all little fantasy worlds, right? So, I got some tops here. This is how I like to do it. Okay. I'm taking two tops of paint bottles. The top of this, of this uh, acrylic paint bottle and the top of this ink bottle. If I can, yeah, cool, it came off of there. Okay, because I'm gonna use those as my circle shapes for these bubbles. Okay, and, oh, you know what, I can use my, I'm so used to using these little platters, but you know what, I have my glass mat, so we'll use my glass mat. So I can work right on the side of here. Perfect. I got my glass mat. It's a crafter's companion. It's 13 by 19. I got an HSN for 20 bucks, you guys. A lot of people have the Tim Holtz, which I love, and they have the Tim Holtz on HSN. Um, but this one was only 20, and I thought, hmm, it seems kind of similar. I wonder if it's good, and I got it, and I love it, so... And not that the Tim Holtz isn't great, because I'm sure the Tim Holtz is great. So I just got a better price on this one. Okay, so let's start doing some bubbles up in the sky. Okay. There we go. And we'll put another bubble here. Cool. And we'll do another bubble right here. And then what I want to do is I want to do some different sizes. Okay, a couple of small ones. So that's why I got the smaller lid. And we'll do a small bubble here. And, and the reason I'm leaving some space here, we're going to throw some clouds in too. We'll do another bubble here. We'll do some bubbles like this. Perfect. I think I love it like that. And you know what? Let's do another bubble over here and add some interest over here. 
maybe a half a bubble going off the page there. Perfect. Okay, so we have our bubbles. Isn't that a, a, just a kind of a fun way to do your bubbles? Because then this way, um, you get a nice circle. You don't have to try to draw this circle yourself. And uh, I think it works out nice. Less stress. Okay, let me put these down here on the ground. Or actually, just a second, guys. I'm just finding a place for those pictures to go. Let me make sure you guys are still there. And you are very good. Okay, so then what I like to do is I like to take my finger and then um, dab in some white here. Like that. Let me get a baby wipe out too. And while it's still wet, I like to work with them wet, the circles. I'll call them bubbles because that's what we're creating um, while they're wet. So I need to decide what colors I want in my bubbles. So I want, I'm going to use the colors that are in my um, work already. So I'm going to use this um, turquoisey color. If you see me do this type of work before, you'll be like, oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I think we all have a color palette that we love and we just find ourselves working with it all the time. I kind of yell at myself silently and I'm like, okay, Angela, you need to go beyond this color palette, but then I just keep going right back. So it's either these kind of um, magentas and pinks and purples or it's um which purple do i want to use maybe i'll use this one or it's um i like a lot of browns so it's like one or the other i don't know why you can't help you're attracted to what you're attracted to and you know i think i want to add a little bit of this cool lime green i just love this lime green i think that's gonna look really cool okay let's not get my colored pencil okay so now what i'll do is just take my finger a little bit and just dab color on okay and we're going to add a little bit of this green there we go and then just mesh it just start doing a little meshing so that things mesh together And you just keep meshing until you like what you've got. And I think that looks good. And kind of try to stay inside of the circle. If you come out, just take your baby wipe and just go like that. No major. That looks pretty. I love that. Okay, so you see that color right there? Okay, and I'll show you how we're going to put some swooshes on here, and that's how it's going to turn into a bubble. So we'll put some white swooshes, and once you do the swooshes, the, the swooshes, the swoosh, <laughs> the swooshes, then that's when you start seeing it looking like a bubble. Right now, we're just creating the color of our bubbles. So let's put some white. You know, let's work on two of these at a time, because for the sake of time, there we go. And I keep a paper towel by me just to kind of keep wiping my finger off. Okay. This is kind of cool. I don't normally use four colors. A lot of times I stick with just like three, but I don't know. I'm getting wild today. I'm like, I'm going to go for these four colors. Okay, so then let's start meshing. Okay. Mesh, I'll mesh these two together. I'll mesh this into this. Very pretty. 